Snow White and the Great Jewel Hunt. Farewell, my love, said Snow White. The prince was leaving on a, ro a royal trip. It was the first time the newlyweds would be apart. I'll be home soon, replied the prince. In the meantime, I've left an envelope for you on the well. It's the first clue in a treasure hunt. At the end, you'll find a special gift. The clue was in plain sight. The dwarfs gathered around as Snow White opened the envelope. I wonder what the gift will be, she said. Then she read the clue aloud. Can't leave you a kiss or even a hug, so here is a clue. Look under the... I know, cried Sneezy. The prince left the next clue under a bug. Sneezy quickly led everyone to the garden. Snow White read the clue. Mm. Try again. Snow White and the dwarfs looked under ladybugs, spiders, butterflies, beetles, and very carefully bumblebees. But they didn't find a thing. Actually, it would be pretty hard to hide a clue under a bug, said Snow White. Maybe it's hidden underneath something that sounds like bug. Under a jug, suggested Happy. No, he must have meant under a mug, said Grumpy. To the kitchen. But as the dwarf searched inside, Grumpy tripped over Dopey. Crawling on the floor in someone's castle is mad banners, scolded Doc. I mean, it's bad manners. Whatever are you doing, Dopey? asked Snow White. Dopey crawled out from under the carpet and held up an envelope. Snow White clapped her hands in excitement. Under the rug! Oh, Dopey, you're a genius. Snow White read the clue. Hooray, you found it! Easy when you try. Now in the kitchen, just lift up the... Pie! shouted all of the dwarfs at the same time. Searching had given them quite an appetite. Sure enough, the next clue was hidden underneath the pie plate. First, Snow White served everyone a big piece of freshly baked gooseberry pie. Then, while they were eating, she read the next clue. Put on a smile, it's no time to frown. You'll find your next clue in your royal... Snow White thought for a moment. My royal gown, she guessed. The dwarfs all nodded in agreement and quickly finished off their pie. In Snow White's dressing room, the dwarfs searched through gown after gown after gown, but there was no clue to be found. Now we'll never find Snow White's gift, Sneezy said sadly. Grumpy noticed Bashful standing in the corner. Why aren't you searching, Grumpy asked him. Why, he doesn't have to, Snow White said. He's wearing my royal crown. That must be where the clue is. Bashful took off the crown. And inside was the clue. The gift is almost yours. My, my, this game has flown. There's one thing left to do. Go look upon your... Stone? offered Sneezy. That's silly, said Grumpy. It must be bone. So all the dwarves, soon all the dwarves were shouting their own ideas. Cone, cologne, trombone! As the dwarfs guessed, Snow White realized somebody was missing. Where's Sleepy? she asked. They all set off to look for him. But he wasn't in the dining room, or in the kitchen, or in the great hall. Snow White was starting to get worried, when she heard a shout from the royal throne room. I found him, Happy cried. Sleepy was sound asleep on Snow White's throne. That's the answer to the clue, she whispered. Go look upon your throne. So where's the gift, Grumpy grumped. Right there, said Doc. Look. Sitting at the very top of Snow White's throne were two birds holding something that sparkled. To everyone's surprise, the birds flew down and placed a delicate necklace around Snow White's neck. The gift was a stunning heart-shaped ruby on a golden chain. Why, it's the color of love, she said. Hmm. Doc saw that Snow White was holding something else. The birds left a note, he cried. Snow White opened the envelope and read aloud. Yes, jewels are lovely, but as this hunt ends, keep one thing in mind. The best gifts are... Odds and ends, said Sneezy. No, it's definitely chickens and hens, said Happy. Pens, Bashful suggested quietly. Grumpy couldn't believe his ears. What's wrong with you fellas? The answer is friends. You're right, said Snow White. I love my new necklace. But the best part of today <laughs> was spending the time we spent together. Friends are the greatest gift of all. All the dwarfs cheered. Not even Grumpy could argue with that. The end. Now you want to look.